Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy as at 8585. Welcome back to another video. It's a tuning setup video for the, as you can see on the screen, Corvette Z06 in S-Class. This is the paint job I'm rocking. It's a monster because it's trying to paint a picture to what the car is. It is a monster. It's brilliant on the straights. It's not the fastest, don't get me wrong. Uh, it's very good at accelerating out corners. Uh, good grip coming into corners. Uh, the sliding, I like to drift. Well, I say drift. I like to back the back end out, coming out of corners. It's very uh, easy to do that, very stable on the oversteer. So, I've decided to do it the other way around this time. Instead of doing the gameplay first and the video, doing the, uh, the, uh, the video. The gameplay first and the tuning. I'm doing the tuning, then the video of the gameplay. So, I'm just going to go through everything on the screen here. I'm going to talk to you guys about this tune. What do I like about it? Already told you. What do I dislike about it? It's just lacking that bit of speed down the straight. The setup I've done for it is a very, very stiff one. Um, very stiff indeed. I, I've got to the point now where soft cars are not it's unstable, but it's very... What's the word I'm looking for? It's, um, it's unpredictable. Okay, sometimes you, you can break at the exact same point, the exact same time on the... Ex on just on, on a different lap um but in a soft suspension the back end will step out you'll understeer you you'll break yourself you'll do this you do that it's a bit temperamental whereas if you stiffen the suspension it's a lot more frequent in what happens you can run your lap times within a tenth you know pretty much every lap every lap's very similar so if you're very quick in a car i'd suggest doing a stiff setup it just makes yeah don't get me wrong when you go over a curb and things like that it feels it but if you're that good you don't have to run over the curb you can clip the curb you can clip the apexes the white lines and things like that and you can pull out a very 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 quick laps so this is the fine tuning side of things now okay the uh, it was very hard to get gameplay because the gameplay that was coming up was again on rainy surfaces i did a uh hockenheim was it Hock no nurburgring sorry I did the nurburgring in the rain um, and I've still won that, but like I said, this is my dry setup and it's a very, very stiff tune. So I did, I, in all honesty, I did very well to win the race. Um, but I've done a, a lap on Hockenheim. It's not the big one, it's not the small one, it's the one in between. Because, like I say, I was struggling to get some gameplay for you. In all honesty, I was struggling to get some gameplay for you. So here it is. It just gives you a bit of an idea of what the cars like to drive. Uh, this is me finishing my first lap. Jump up bridge, I do apologise buddy, but I beat you on my first lap. Um, not to <laughs> shout you out, but you know, get on this track and try and beat me. That's a challenge for you buddy, if you beat me, happy days. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, a little bit of banter, don't take it personally. But, this is me now hit hitting the track and showing you, you see what I mean by steps up a bit on curbs, but if you can master your throttle and how the car handles and reacts, you got, you'll be able to sort of counteract that. Um, on the brakes, it's very, very good at out braking. Long sweeping corners, it it adores them. It really does. This, not this corner, the right-hander after this right-hander, I hate it, I can't do it. I, well, I can't do it, obviously, but I struggle with it sometimes. On this one, it's the easiest I've ever done it. Okay, watch this for a corner. I hit it perfectly. I go out wide slightly. I just feel like that was, oh sorry, I think that was just the, f the best I've ever done that corner. Uh, so it gives you a bit of an idea on how sort of good this tune is. On the brakes, it's very good. I was quite late there, and uh, you know, it's you know, it's it's not a slow vehicle. It's not a slow vehicle. I did a 129 around here. The fastest lap in the world is like a 127, and that's in the stupid overpowered um, Alpha, whatever it's called, Stradale or whatever. So that's me coming around, finalising that lap two. As you can see, it didn't take me long to get a nice quick lap time. So I quit out there. I'll show you all the bits and bobs where I come in the world, in Europe, in my division. And I think I might show you my friends, I don't know. Uh, but if you're not my friends, add me. As a space 85, space 85, add me. It's nice to compare your guys' times to mine. Um, Tony, cheers for the uh, feedback as well on the S Selena 7 tune. Um, I might try that out myself. You say it works for you with the braking side of things. Um, I haven't tried it yet, so I'll give that a go. Definitely. That's the lap time I did. Okay. 
Um, yeah, that's me. I'm going to sign out now, okay? Uh, please like, comment, subscribe if you are new. Tell me what brought you here. Other than that, peace out, guys.